The Central Bank of Kenya has reversed the measures it had put in place to facilitate free mobile money transactions below a thousand shillings, effective December 31st, 2020, indicating that the volume of transactions during the period increased by 114 percent, while 2.8 million additional customers started using mobile money. Faisal Ahmed has more on this story. In a statement, the regulator said that it had achieved the intended purpose with a person-to-person transaction increasing by 87% between February and October 2020 with the volumes of transactions below 1,000 shillings increasing by 114% while 2.8 million additional customers were using mobile money. The measure, which was instituted in April, was not only meant to make it cheaper for Kenyans to transact using mobile money, but also discouraged the use of cash as a way of curbing the spread of COVID-19. But even as the regulator and treasury boasts over the move, mobile money operators felt the pinch. Ilana, I'll now cover. Safaricom, while releasing its six months financial year report, indicated that it had lost 9 billion shillings as a result of the relief extended by CBK. In view of this, we expect the earnings before interest and tax to be in the range of Kenya shillings 91 to 94 billion, a decline of 10.5 to 7.5 percent, and we expect CAPEX to remain in the range of 35 to 38 billion Kenya shillings. Part of the measures then placed by CBK to ease the burden off of Kenyans also included the suspension of listing with the credit reference bureaus as well as free bank account to mobile wallet transactions. The move also comes at a time when the National Assembly is slated to pass the reversal of tax relief measures extended to Kenyans in April by the National Treasury. In its analysis, audit firm KPMG, however, says reinstating corporate tax to 30% and top pay band to 30%, among other measures, will introduce a raft of challenges for businesses that are yet to recover from the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.